How you doing guys? This is Andrew of Flory PB and this is the manual for the Quest chip. Not the board, but the chip. Um, the chips work in any of the original Quest boards up to I believe version 2.3 is when they switched. Or maybe I'm wrong on that one. Uh, obviously it doesn't work, you can send it right back, not a problem. But this is specifically made for the uh, Quest chips. Uh, they lack the four dip switches that a DM has and it's a DM board but there's only two. And obviously they lack the I button, so we have to convert the code to be a little more quest specific. So because I'm missing two dip switches, anti-mechanical bounce is always on now, and anti-bolt stick is always on now in this marker. Um, dip switch one is our rate of fire. Just leave it on, you're gonna have headaches if you turn it off. And dip switch two is your tournament lock. If you bring it up and on, you have programmability. If you bring it down to off, you're in tournament lock mode. When you're in tournament lock mode, obviously you can't adjust your settings, but you can check the, the, the amount left you have in your battery. Same way as you do your settings, you hold the trigger, turn the power on, and wait for the flashes. One, two, three, four. So four flashes mean I have a full battery. Three flashes means I'm three quarters full. Two flashes, I'm half. And a quarter flashes, I am, uh, I'm almost out. Uh, if I want to turn the eyes on and off, because I only have one button, it's a short press on this button, and they're off. Short press again, and they're on. Eyes on. If you have an eye malfunction, it'll be green. It needs to see a gap as the ball leaves, or else it thinks there's a malfunction. And the flashing green means we have an eye malfunction. We're still going to ramp. If we're shooting 10, we're not really gonna feel a difference in an eye malfunction or, or not having one because uh, we're in you know ramping mode or we're at 10 and it's kind of the generic fallback is 10 balls a second because most hoppers can feed that and it's not gonna hurt you. But it's a quick and easy way to turn your eyes on and off and I hopefully it's convenient enough for everybody. You notice that little blue twing that is uh, part of the V3 coating so let's turn our tournament lock off and let's go into programming. Program it like every other board. You hold the trigger down. Let it turn on. Cycles. We're going to start with red. Red is our dwell. And our dwell is set to 8 stock because that's what apparently we're set to in these. Uh, shoots really nice, so that's good. Next is blue. Blue is going to be our rate of fire. This is going to be set to 10 stock for you guys. Next is teal. Teal is going to be your anti-mechanical bounce. This is set to five stock. Next we have yellow. Yellow is our ball and breach delay. So this is how long after the ball breaks the eyes, it waits in milliseconds to, to allow it to fire. This is set to one millisecond stock. Next is purple. Purple is our fire mode. We have one to four in fire modes. Fire mode one is semi. Fire mode two is an automatic for testing purposes normally. Fire mode three is your NXL legal ramp that's set up to you know be maintain five balls a second, have to pull at least three to get it to ramp. All the stuff in the NXL manual now. And ramp mode four is a traditional, just stupid ramp mode that lets you shoot a lot of paint. Next is white. White is our uh, incremental balls per second. So we can set uh, one pull is zero balls a second and 10 pulls is 0.9 balls per second. So you can set 0.1 balls per second increments throughout. We'll reset this to be 10.5 from 10, because I know that's the legal limit. Obviously set it down a little bit from 10.5, because you're probably gonna shoot over the limit every once in a while. You can either program directly, or you could see what you're set at. By seeing what you're set at, you hold the trigger down and count the lights. One. So I've set at one. One, four, one, set to three. So one, two, three. Now three is 0.2 balls per second added, so I'll be shooting 10.2 now. Uh, one pull is zero, or one pull is zero, two pulls is 0.1, three pulls is 0.2. Say I want to do 0.5 though, but I don't want to see what I have. Hold the trigger, one, two, three, four, five, six in this case, to get to 0 0.5, zero, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0.5. I'm set there. If I want to check what my setting was, one, two, three, four, five. Cool, I'm gonna set it back to one now. And the final one is our debounce. Our debounce is green. Uh, it's set to five milliseconds for traditional debounce. You can set debounce from zero all the way up to 50. 
uh, you know, your choice, what you want to do with it. Back to red, simply when we want to get out of this, we just turn the marker off, and it's off. And the marker is ready to go. And this is our version three uh, code in the Quest chip that is up for sale now. Thank you guys, this is Andrew at Flory PB, and that's it for this.